not suicidal. Okay. I am not suicidal. I am innocent. As Jesse Smollett was led out of the courtroom following his sentencing, he held up a fist. I am not suicidal. I am not suicidal. And I am innocent. I could have said that I was guilty a long time ago. <laughs> this is some weird stuff, bro. I don't know, man. Like, if, if there is video evidence and all this different evidence coming out that you are 100% guilty and everybody agrees you are guilty, and he's literally saying, I could have said I was guilty a long time ago, why is he saying I am innocent? We've seen, we've seen some, like, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna put the tinfoil hat on for just a brief few seconds. How out of the realm of possibility is it that somebody may be framing Jussie for, <laughs> for, for framing himself? And then it was all this long, three-year-long plot to get him in jail so that they, they could then Epstein him. Maybe it's somebody very powerful that knows that Jussie Smollett knows something about them. For instance, I don't know, there's a lot of big Hollywood types. There was the Me Too movement back in the day, which of course kind of went off the rails, but it was supposed to be exposing very powerful people in Hollywood. Jesse Smollett wasn't a very high, powerful person in Hollywood, but he, he was kind of up there. He was punching in the, you know, welterweight up there. How out of the realm of possibility is it that somebody could just be setting it all up, pulling all the pieces, and Jesse Smollett just so happens to be the pawn that's above the other pawns, but still gets knocked over in the end while the you know, the black tries to get the chess mate, the, the, the checkmate, the chess mate, the checkmate. I don't know. I, the tinfoil hat on for a second. I don't know. Let me, tell, let me see what in the chat what you guys think. Steve says he's probably hoping that would get empathy. And again, he has proven himself that he's a POS. True. Uh, Agar Khan says, sounds like he's afraid somebody might kill him in jail. Rebecca says, it's been two years of, peop uh, of people at the top lying to us about everything. Jussie just following their lead. I don't know. What do you guys think about my, my conspiracy theory here? My Jussie Smollett? We're not seeing the whole story theory because he's main he's maintained his innocence over and over again. And I mean, sure, if I if I had done something or actually I'd, I'd probably, you know, I'd probably say, no, I did that. But, you know, Jesse Smollett, some people. You, you got to stick to your innocence. I don't know. It's just my theory. But this, do this story gets even crazier because he says I'm not a suicidal if anything happens to me. I didn't do it. But then he also, uh, as he's walking out, apparently yells at the at the uh, judge. So watch this. I am not suicidal. Stop I am not suicidal. And I am innocent. I could have said that I was guilty a long time ago. One more time. I just got, I got to hear this. I am not suicidal. This looks like it's right. Like, okay, I'll, I'll give you guys this. I have never watched the show Empire. But if, you know, from the things I've heard, I think it's, it has something to do with, like, crime and stuff, justice and stuff. I don't know. Y'all are going to get mad at me for talking about something I don't know too much about. But for, in my defense, it's a TV show. It's not for my, it's my, not for my audience, okay? Not for my general audience. But this feels like something right out of it. Walking out of the courtroom with the fist in the air. I am not suicidal. I could have said I was, I, I could have said I was guilty a long time ago. Talking all that mess to the judge. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Rebecca says great vocals, right? I don't know. It's, it's very it's very artistic in a way. Uh, actors, Jesse Smollett sentenced to 150 days, 30 months probation, 25 fine. I am not suicidal. I am not suicidal. All this stuff. I don't know. <laughs> it's Y'all y'all are saying killery a lot in my chat. I'm concerned. But as you can see, well, per, before basketball started happening right now, I guess, uh, Jesse Smollett was trending number one on Twitter. He's still at number three. Uh, just tons of people tweeting about him. Can we get a statement from Kamala Harris about her boy, Jussie? Ooh, ooh, Kamala, you got something to say? Jussie continues to be garbage, dragging his 92-year-old grandma to court. Mm. The most important outcome in the Jussie Smollett case is that the truth is finally out. This sick pattern of leftist lies amplified by dishonest media. Okay, cool. Um, nothing is more important than love. Okay. Uh, he shouldn't go to jail because he might get COVID. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll serve 30 months. So yeah, just a lot of people sharing the news. Oh, that's a good one. When is Kim Fox getting disbarred and charged for purposely mishandling and trying to cover up for Jesse? A lot of, a lot of good questions like that happening. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm raising the questions. I had my tinfoil hat on for just a moment to question what's going on with all this mess. We've got a lot more stories coming soon, but if you want even more tinfoil hat moments or more casual shows like this, then make sure you consider hitting that like button on YouTube, that rumble button on rumble and if you're interested in supporting our channel and joining the hall of heroes make sure you check in the description and visit donorbox.org slash support dash chandler and consider a one-time or even a monthly donation to support our content here of course 